hello there beautiful people i hope you are having a good day in this video we will take a look at the user interface of quickbooks so without further delay let's get started right after you set up your account you will be taken to the home dashboard and the home dashboard is where you can see the snapshot of your business financial health this dashboard shows the key metrics like cash flow profit and loss and expenses and allows you to monitor your performance at a glance the best part about this dashboard is that it is modular in design so you can actually click on customize here and drag and drop the widgets like this okay so you can create your own customizable dashboard however you want and you can also add or remove your widgets so you can decide which uh, parameters are important for your business your brand and show them on the home screen of the home dashboard after you do that click on save and you can have your own dashboard where you can see all the important aspect of your financial reports on the left side here we have the navigation bar and you can minimize and open it like this on top we have the bookmarks where you can add and access the most important elements of your uh, quick book dashboard so for example you can click on edit here and let's say you want to show bills select it like this you can also select the budgets or whatever you want from here let's say you want to see your customers and click on save and now these options will be added in your bookmarks so that you can quickly access them from here so it's a good idea to uh, get all your important elements and add them as bookmarks right here the main menu is the most important element here where you will find all your options so first off you have the dashboard which takes you to your home dashboard as well as the planner after that you have the task here where you can add your uh, important task and sort them out by the priority then we have the banking and transaction where you can manage your connected bank accounts as well as transaction you can synchronize your bank and credit card accounts you can uh, match the transaction to accounts and ensure that transactions match the bank statements so this is where you will see all your bank related uh, options after that we have the advanced accounting where you can see the revenue recognition and the fixed assets the sales is where you can handle income related tasks so this is where you will handle the invoices so you can create send and manage customer invoices you can maintain customer profiles and transaction history and you can also manage your inventory and non-inventory item as well as products and services and their pricing the next option here is the expenses and this is where you track and manage your spending so you can see all your vendors you can maintain supplier details and history you can see the record and manage the payable bills and you can also categorize and track the general expenditures and expenses the customer and lease is where you will find all the customer information as well as marketing related information like the leads the report is your financial reporting the payroll is to streamline your employee management and the payroll so you can add and manage employee profile the details you can process employee salaries and bonuses you can also automate the federal and state tax submissions right here the time option allows you to track and manage time for employees and projects so you can log the hours worked by your employees you can synchronize with payroll for accurate calculations and you can allocate time entries to specific projects in the uh, time setting so it's a great way to track the time of your employees and your projects and talking about the projects we have it right here and the purpose of projects is for uh, project-based businesses so it tracks the profitability by the project um, you can create and assign transaction to specific projects you can monitor labor material and expenses you can also evaluate the uh, project success using this option right here this one is the financial planning this is for the forecast and the uh, budgets of your uh, brand and business so you can forecast your business's outcome based on the past performances and uh, you can also tweak the forecast however you want the workflow automation is one of the key feature of this platform the quickbooks um, because it allows you to streamline all your workflows and connect them with each other using the automation tools so it's a great way to uh, 
automate your business and transactions and marketing and whatever you want. After that, we have the taxes and the taxes is where you manage all your tax related tasks. So you can configure and calculate tax for transaction for your sales tax. You can automate the payroll related tax fillings. So this is a centralized hub for all your tax fillings and due dates. We have some more options on top here. So first off, we have the business feed where you can see all your overdue invoices Another important option. You have the announcement option right here. And if you want to see some help document, you can see them right here. So you can search any help documents. This is where you will find all your integrations and your apps. So if you want to connect to any app, for example, Shopify store, you can do that right here. And you can find all apps here. If you want to search any specific transaction, you can use this option right here. And this bell icon is where you will see all your notifications. This option right here will show all your tasks and here you will find the settings. So if you want to, let's say, change your business detail, you can go to the settings and change the settings right here. A very important setting in the QuickBook dashboard is this, the new. This is where you can create any new invoices, task, or any other option. If you want to add any element, you can quickly do that right here. You will also find this option on top here if you uh, minimize this. A new option will appear here. You can click on it and you can quickly create, for example, an invoice right here. So this was a quick introduction to the uh, user interface of QuickBook. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.